So this time I'll be talking about the similarities and differences between the sets of Indiana Jones to the form in the movie. So starting with the Lost Tomb, the set, it has most of the detailing, except it's much smaller, but they captured the C-3PO and R2-D2 um, hieroglyphic thing on the wall, which they did in the movie as a joke, which you don't really notice in the movie. And then here's the Temple of the Crystal Skull, which I have, it's in pieces. And this is more of a temple, in the movie it's like a pyramid, but the set's fantastic, but it's very different. This set's basically completely accurate to the movie, um, with the features that and how it's just one long tunnel. Basically, it has the plane, it has, it's, it's accurate in, like, almost every way. So that's fantastic. The Temple of Dooms, um, it's not, not accurate, it's just not accurate. It's got the mine card, it's even got the thing that, in the, towards the left side that dumps down all the rock on you, but... It doesn't have the fire pit to dump people in, but it's still nice. And then the jungle cutter is accurate. It didn't have that temple where you can hide and cover yourself with spider webs, but it had everything else, trees, ants. Not the bucket of jewels, though. This was an exclusive set to the Indiana Jones theme, and this set is really nice. It is a scene from a movie. It's just Indy and Mutt aren't getting arrested. They're just flying around in that plane to get to Peru. Um, and this set, um, it's accurate, and, oh, no, it's not, actually. It doesn't have a tree or a raft in the movie, just the boat, and Marion and Indy, and Mutt, and Ox. This is accurate, yes, in, like, every way, because there's nothing you can really go wrong with in this set. The tail pops off when his dad accidentally shoots it. So this set's really accurate, it's just not fantastic. This set's accurate, except for the arc. The Ark um, is a treasure chest instead of being the golden box from the Lost Tomb or whatever it's called. So that, they could have worked on that, but the reason they did that was to appeal to kids who hadn't seen the movie in a um, something I read in the Lego magazine. So that's just what I've heard. Um, this set's accurate. It's very nice. Um, Willie doesn't have a crown in the movie, but in this, she has this red transparent crown. So um, Indiana Jones sets have had magnets, which... Like any other magnets, I'm not too fond of, but, um, you know, I probably wouldn't get them if I saw them in stores. Um, but then again, I might, because they're Indiana Jones, and you don't see them anymore. So, Indiana Jones has had two video games. I've played the first, I've beaten the first, there's just one bonus level I can't unlock, but I've played the first, it's fantastic. And I've played a little bit of the second video game, which is fun, from what I played. And, um, from what I played, it's actually better. So, um, and the story in the second video game is completely different than, um, the movies, like, the storylines. They mess up a lot, or not mess up, but change things a lot, and don't make it completely accurate, but the first game was very accurate. So, Indiana Jones has great, like, enemies in the sets, because they're from the movie, so I, I blame Steven Spielberg for his awesomeness of characters. So here's the Indiana Jones minifigure. It's fantastic. This is the first minifigure we had a fedora and a shoulder bag and a whip on. So he started a whole new kind of hat and shoulder bag throughout LEGO. So what's your favorite Indiana Jones set? Put your answer in the comments and I'll see you to them. Bye.